farm and Ban Magari just outside Stavan. As a family run farm, um, I'm the third generation out on the farm. We farm 82 hectares. Uh, it's a grass based system. We're trying to take the potential out of cows and our target for the year is roughly a million litres. The number of my grandfather was around, uh, there was no talk about carbon footprint or issues, you know, uh, definitely things has changed. My grandfather had got a grant to take out hedges to, to make fields bigger and we actually got a grant then to replace hedges to, to create wildlife and we are seeing a lot more wildlife. We're getting uh, Irish hares, uh, marsh hare hawks and robins and starlings. Three main issues uh, for reducing carbon footprint on farm would be the solar panels, uh, the trail and shoe and then the borehole. We have to abide now by red tractor so it's really taking care of the welfare of uh, the cow and the standard that they expect us to be at, which a lot of farmers are adhering to now, um, and it's a standard I think is well worth doing. Definitely the, the consumers are more uh, focused on the, the welfare issues of animals on farms. Basically cows are at, at grass from uh, early April and are at grass right through until November. We do feed, buffer feed silage at night for the cows all year round. We put in uh, two robots back 18 months ago, so now cows come and go as they, as they want out to grass. They go to grazing A in the morning and come back and go to grazing B in the afternoon. Uh, everything's automated right through to cooling of the milk back into the tanks and uh, cows do their own thing whenever they want. the cows definitely has increased. The potential was on cows and now we're able to harvest that more, more than we could in the power because of labour. We are currently milking cows now up to four times a day. We, we use uh, plate cooler water at the moment to cool down the milk so that the milk's not going in as warm into the tank. We do have uh, smart heat on the tank as well which is taking the gas out of the tank whilst it's been cooled to, to heat up water prior to going to boilers. All the farm now changed to LEDs and they are worked with a, a photo cell to switch them on and a time clock then to switch them off. We're trying to reduce the water usage on farm from mains water to boreholes. We're basically on a 14 day rotation of the paddocks. Um, we sow fertilizer roughly every six weeks and we don't sow a lot. We sow about 27 units of nitrogen. Uh, we also uh, trail and shoe some slurry onto the, the paddocks. Since purchasing the, the trail and shoe, we've seen a reduction in fertilizer. We've redu reduced fer fertilizer by maybe 40% over the last number of years. We soil sample every three years. Basically, we're trying to check for the pH of the, of the soil and the structure and uh, that determines then how much lime we put on. All the slurry is mixed and, and put into the above ground tank and is administered by a trail and shoe onto the land. We're putting on in the region of two and a half thousand gallons to the, to the acre um, just after sales time, but we can do the cow grazing and they can graze roughly 14 or 18 days later. Solar panels were installed back uh, six years ago. Um, there's a 20 kilowatt system. Uh, it's producing now, all the electric is produced as used on farm. There is a surplus of electricity goes back to the grid. Um, we don't actually have an electric bill um, because we, we generate enough from the 20 kilowatt system we have on the roof. Uh, one of the next uh, stages we're going to do is try and go off grid completely and go to battery storage. We're looking into that at the minute. Uh, hopefully that'll happen before the autumn.